so next up, we're going to dive into some uh, Chrome OS news, yeah. uh, which is always fun. Uh, we did a video that we put out on Tuesday. Yeah. And then this news came out Wednesday, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a weird week. We, uh, yeah, we, uh, we were, we were, we were right on it. Uh, but it's because we, we were thinking of a video to do. We were trying to come up with something to work on, uh, uh, er, uh our first video of the week. And you hopped over to beta, which is 104. Yeah, I just wanted to see what's going on. Hey, I was like, look yeah. at all this stuff. Whoa. It's, it's all like, like all here. this stuff we've been talking about is all kind of coming together right. um, in this video. And then uh, in beta. And now uh, Google came out with a keyword blog post and said, hey, check out all this cool stuff. We were yeah. like, yeah, look at all that cool stuff. Which, we just talked way, about yeah, it. <laughs> which, by the way, how awesome is it that we are now at a place where Google, which Google's putting a lot more content on the keyword, pretty much everything they oh, do. Yeah. But we're getting long-term roadmap highlighted articles on the keyword for Chrome OS is so cool. Cause this wasn't just like, Hey, here's some new features. It's like, Hey, here's all this stuff that's coming to Chrome OS and here's why it's important and stuff that we've been working on. In this post, they, they didn't even, like put a date on it. Yeah. They just said, this is new stuff. That's new rolling stuff out. that's coming. Yeah. Um, so yeah. some of this stuff may not show up in one Oh four. It's sitting there in beta. Some of it, some of it, I yeah, because some of it says August, some of it says September, and then like the video stuff is, uh, it just says fall. fall yeah, so. yeah. So which I'm look. assuming that is Google. F- you have to have the Google Photos Android app on yes. Chrome. Okay, gotcha. And so it's going to have. Well, let's just, yeah, let's go and dive into yeah. that. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, it, it, are, are they're they're not even calling it video editor, are they? It's what are they? movie maker and up de- and video editor up grade of yeah. because i guess technically you can edit videos in the google photo as that right now basically yeah, yeah so now they're calling you can it trim a, them yeah, basically now it's like a it. video a movie maker yeah so yeah yeah, yeah so. so i'll read this straight from google's <clears throat> post creating an end-to-end movie made up of multiple video clips photos and a title card can come with a learning curve and take lots of time but google photos revamp movie creation tools movie creation help you make tools. high quality movies with just a few taps you'll be able to create beautiful movies uh, from suggested themes or put yourself in the director's seat start from scratch right on your chromebook yeah um and again we we did confirm that this is uh it, it's not via the web app this is a uh, android app thing but you'll get the android app and it's going to have special things laid out specifically for chromebooks and i would assume uh android tablets too like it, maybe not right at first but soon thereafter yeah. um I th- this is probably more of a hey this is a google photos thing for big screens like right yeah and eventually they'll figure the ui out and probably give you most of these tools on the phone too I, yeah because they, they referenced and said you know coming first to chromebooks but i mean obviously this is geared towards larger screens like you okay. said and and like you know short form creators and stuff like that this is a big deal because like i mentioned in my article I do I do some stuff on the side with and, and making little Instagram videos and stuff for different projects and I use online video editors right now I'm using a flex clip because I really like the uh, they have a huge selection of stock video and really good graphics and stuff like that but a lot of times I just need to make a quick video that's either photos videos or both and it just needs to have some music yeah some transitions yeah and some title maybe cards. maybe some yeah some, a title card some text Something. yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't want to pay for a monthly subscription for an editor to be able to do that. This is going to, well, there's no transitions in this, but there are, you know, you can put all of your stuff in there. You can use all your filters. You can use real tone. You can just exposure and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And then you can put some text in and it'll, I don't know when it says music. I don't know if they're going to have like a selection of music the way YouTube does. Cause YouTube has some stock. Uh, you said there's that said this could change, but there's an ad soundtrack. Yeah. It says there, add, so. add soundtrack. So you might be able to add some, your own local music i don't know but um it's it's going to be a be really cool. useful tool because you're not only getting a quick video maker inside of the google photos app you're getting all of the stuff that's already really cool about google photos which right. they're editing their their enhancement and their uh tools to fix images and stuff is really really good so yeah it's because i mean I, a lot of times and we were talking to our google rep about this specifically i was like yeah a lot of times i'm uh you know I'll, I'll go into a photo i'll take a photo i love the the composition of the photo 
But I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit there and mess with the shadows and yeah. and all that stuff. I click the little auto button. Yep. There's an enhance button, and then now they've got the dynamic one too, depending on the photo. Um, I'll click between one of those two and usually be like, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. And save yeah. it and, and do what I'm going to do with it. Uh, and, and he assured me like, that's kind of the, that's what they want to do with this video editor. So you put these clips in there and you just hit that enhance button. And it's just going to, whoop, here you go. <laughs> bring up the, you know, yeah. take down the shadows or whatever, you know, like yeah. fix most of it. And so, you know, for these short form type things that makes life a lot, a lot easier for people to be able to just go like, okay, I, I, I'm not trying to make a feature film here. I'm, I'm trying to just put together a nice looking video and. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be. Plus, like they have templates. So, I mean, you just throw it in with the template, and you pick the clips that you want to use, and it just does everything for you. Right. But I mean, this for because there's a 16 by nine button at the top of that. So, I'm assuming there's going to be a nine by 16 oh, yeah. as well for YouTube Shorts. This will, I mean, yep. you can do it directly from the YouTube app. But I mean, this this will be great to make quick videos. Throw it up on YouTube Shorts will be awesome. Yeah, yeah. And they've, you know, in the in the YouTube app creating Shorts, they've added <coughs> quite a several bit. Yeah. tools in there. Um, and so I wonder if if any of those will even spill over here, or there'll be any, you know, uh, similarities in yeah. the two kind of over time. I think this is more of, hey, you film some videos of the kids playing baseball or whatever right. and you can just easily come in here and boop 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 click it and it's just going to make something for yeah, you I mean, right yeah. you know you take you go on vacation you take like you guys went to you know a amusement park this week and you want to make a little video for for the grandparents right boom 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 throw it together yeah. or i mean even for work stuff like little quick presentations or just yeah. stuff like that this this will be very very useful yeah so. but but this isn't a full-blown video editor this isn't this isn't Luma Fusion. Right, this isn't but they also Da Vinci. Yeah, they you know, went, yeah, they went. They went so far as to point out in the blog post that you know this is for this, but for those that need transitions yeah. and tracks and all of those things and the ability to do all that stuff, Luma Fu Luma Fusion is still in the works and it's still coming and. It's again, Luma Fusion on Chrome OS is not going to be comparable to DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut, but it's going to be probably 90 percent of creators it's probably going to be enough because if you look at if you use the word creators you're talking about people like me who's doing smoke inside or on the side and i just do you know little videos at home it's going to have more than enough tools for me to do what i need to do yeah. if you i mean i haven't used it nearly as much as you guys but i know it's very powerful yeah so. I, I just made a note last time we mentioned it i said i needed to follow up with them and i think i sent an email but i maybe didn't hear back so i need to follow up with them again yeah because i want to i want to get an update yeah we need to be see where they're at that. yeah we're getting close to a demo I yeah think. because they did a live demo at io yeah. and we were super excited to see that they i did reach out to them after that and just said hey this is amazing here's our article you know covering right. this and they were like yeah we were really excited yeah. they were like that was the first demo you know, on a Chromebook that we had done. So we were right. really excited to get that out there. So hopefully they're making good progress. I'd love to hear from them where they're at yeah, because absolutely. we, we want to be, uh, we want to be testing that, yeah, uh, 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 beta testing and heck, whatever, whatever they're willing to share with us. I'd love to try that out and edit one of our videos on it. I mean, yeah. for the most part, you know, other than just dealing with, you know, massive files, um, you know, we've, we've tried to simplify our editing process. We do a kind of a, a pretty clean edit, you know, we don't, right. we don't have a ton of crazy stuff that L we do. LumaFuge, it's all going to be local, right? It's not, there's no oh, yeah. like web stuff involved. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So even dealing with l large files, it should, it should be yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, they, and I've said, we've said this before, Keeney Master had the opportunity to do this and they didn't. I mean, because yeah. it, it's great, but they never really focus on optimizing for Chrome OS. Nope. And yeah, I think they were, they were more focused and are still more focused about giving creation tools to people on a phone. Like yep. that's just kind of where they're at. And yeah. And more power whatever. too. And that's, cool. That's what you yeah. want to do. Yep. And cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is something nice that I think, uh, will be, uh, something cool for Chromebook users to try first. That's always awesome. Whenever we get some exclusive stuff that it rolls out to a Chromebook first, that's always fun. And I think it'll just be something for the average creator or just, you know, I think probably a lot of creators. Probably edu educators to too. This would probably yep. be a really good tool for and teachers. And then presentations and stuff, and yep. stuff for work. Oh, I think, yeah. you know, it, it could it could be a pretty useful tool. So it's, it's yep. nice. Um, so what else? So I'm just going to go down as, as we get through these. Uh, gallery app is getting the ability to... Um, annotate sign highlight and pdfs like awesome. in the gallery app instead of like right now if you have one like chrome does this uh pretty pretty decently i don't know if you got highlighter tools or not i can't remember but mm. you know, if i need to sign the pdf i'll download it and you just drag it into a chrome window it pops up grab my pen and i can sign it and save it and it's the same thing it's just 
in the in the so gallery it's, yeah, app. it's giving the gallery app the ability to handle pdfs which the gallery app is now an swa i believe isn't yes. it? so there's no reason it shouldn't uh and before we move on i forgot uh they did mention in the blog post for the video editor movie maker thing you'll be able to take your files you'll be able to t- seamlessly move from the your uh, files app gallery to Google Photos, so that photo, so there'll be an option in there to like edit with Google Photos or create or whatever. So yeah, which cool. would be good because yeah. right now, like, you install Google Photos and it feels very bolted on. Uh, yeah, to the Chrome OS experience, like to the point where I don't, I don't ever use the Android app. To be honest with you, I, I just use the web app. It's not as full featured, but um, it'll be nice to see. It, look, it sounds like Google Photos is getting prepped to be like legit ready for Chromebooks yeah. now, which is which is cool. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this clip of the Chromecast. If you want to see this full episode, you can head over to our other YouTube channel that we have. You can find that just by searching the Chromecast podcast or we'll link it down in the description. But if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to get alerted when we make future episodes just like this one. Alrighty, we'll catch you all in the next one. See you.